Shit, man, here goes nothing. What's up, YouTube? Crafting Cars here. Happy Tuesday. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be installing a brand new wiring harness into my 97 Civic. Now, this just isn't any harness. This is a custom uh, B slash D series tucked OBD1 harness. And this one has been made specifically custom for my 97 Civic, which is a OBD2 a vehicle. Now depending on the year your vehicle was made, it'll be either OBD2A, OBD2B, or just OBD1. Um, so this tutorial will be a little bit different, but if you have an OBD2A, which is a, I think it's like any Civic from 1996 to 1998, you're in luck because installing this harness is basically plug and play. For the OBD2B or other OBD1 vehicles, um, you gotta splice a couple wires, but uh, we're gonna do our best to see what we can do today to get this installed. Um, so this is the main harness right here that I'm holding. This is the one that connects the main ECU to all the sensors in the car. This right here is the sub harness. This basically just extends the main harness um, kind of underneath the dash and reaches all the way up to the uh, like kind of the driver's side just to help clean up the wiring since this is a tucked harness. When you compare this to something like OEM, I still got some. You'll notice that it's a lot cleaner. Although this one's a little hacked up, but you can see it's not made with nearly the same uh, quality. And one other thing I gotta do today is finish wiring up my charge harness. Now it's a little bit different than the ECU harness. Charge harness basically just connects the fuse box, the battery, the starter, and the alternator uh, to make sure that the main battery and everything is charged um, at all times when you're running the car. And uh, so I'll finish that up today. I already started, um, just picked up a new uh, little tiny Odyssey battery today. So I'll show you how I got that wired up. But I think I'm gonna start out the video today by installing the ECU harness. And uh, we'll start by running the connections from the engine bay into the car and then connecting these to the actual ECU. Now, in order for this harness to go from the engine bay to the interior of the car, we have to go through this hole right here on the firewall. And basically, when you go through that hole, there's kind of a sharp edge all the way around it. So there's this little rubber grommet right here that I'll bolt up, and that just protects the cord from getting all frayed and stuff and uh, worn through. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to feed these plugs one by one through this hole. And then I wanna run this wire through the grommet as well. This is my main power wire coming straight off my battery. My battery just happens to be in the trunk of the vehicle, so I gotta run it all the way up to the front like this. All right, I got the grommet there. I can bolt it down. All right, and to give you guys a closer look, here we see all the engine connections here. Now if you follow this cable back, You'll notice it goes right into this grommet, right into the interior. I've also got this wire coming through the grommet as well, and that's gonna hook up to this positive terminal right here. I'll hook that up later though. Um, for now, let's hook up those ECU connections in the car. So if we come through here. Here we have my Honda, this is a custom S300 um, P28 ECU meaning it's a OBD1 ECU, wants to focus. Well, anyway, you get the idea. So it's a chipped OBD1 ECU. This is where all the connections are. I believe it's called the A, B, and C port. It might be A, B, and D, I'm not sure. Um, but you'll see these ECU connections right here, literally just pop right in. And you can't mess them up because they're all different sizes. So it's literally that easy for those plugs. And then for connecting these two plugs, you're gonna need that sub harness that I was talking about earlier. Just match the gray one to the gray one. And the green one to the green one. Just like that. And you might notice that I've got a couple spare wires here. Now these are optional for some people. I know one of them's for the AC compressor clutch, which I'm not using. One of them's for the AC uh, switch on the dash, which I'm also not using. 
and one of them is for an O2 sensor and I'm using a wide band so I'm not using that one either. So I could tape these off, otherwise you can find the pinout online for just a regular P28 ECU and they'll tell you exactly where to uh, splice these in. All right, so we're all set up there. Now we're gonna take the other end of that sub harness and fish it over to the other side. So I'll probably put it behind here. And you can already tell that these are gonna connect. Just like that. Now these two plugs actually used to be in the engine bay. Um, but since I did my wire tuck where I ran all the wires through the fenders and everything, I tucked these inside the cab here. So that makes everything hook up super nice and super clean. All right, and as far as that other plug to the left there, I won't be using that. And so that wraps up everything that we have to do on the interior of the car. Now if we move back to the engine bay. It's time we hook up all these sensors and switches. Now I really don't have any plan of attack here. I'm just gonna start making connections. I'll list them off as I go. And uh, I'll probably have to go through uh, again after I get them all hooked up, just so I can get them routed the cleanest way possible. But we're kind of still in test mode right now, so let's get started hooking these things up. I'm gonna do this obvious one first. This is the alternator plug. And I gotta connect this down to the back side of the alternator there. It makes it super helpful that Wireworks goes ahead and labels every single wire. And while I'm up here, I might as well hook up the oil pressure sensor as well. Just a little push on fitting here. Boop. All right, so now I'll hook up injectors one through four. I got them routed kind of through the intake manifold here. And they, they mount at a 90 degree like this. One, two, three, and four. Put on these little rubber boots. All right, now we're gonna hook up the vehicle speed sensor. Starter signal wire. Reverse switch. VTEC switch. the water or coolant temperature sensor and the sender then we have the plugs for the distributor the map sensor and throttle position sensor idle air controller it's the intake air temperature sensor the thermostat fan switch and this right here is the thermostat ground very important and honestly I think that's it for the main engine harness obviously I don't have it tucked very nice um, but let's wrap up that charge harness. Now this positive terminal that I put in here acts as a junction point between the battery cable, the starter cable, and the cable going into the fuse box. Tighten that up. Put the insulator on there. All right, now I'm gonna take all these wires, kind of tuck the slack, I'm gonna reinstall my catch can. So now it's time to hook up the battery. I'm running a Odyssey Extreme PC680, which is a pretty uh, popular like battery re relocation battery for a lot of race cars. Um, I'm gonna be running the positive terminal to this terminal here on this 100 amp circuit breaker. And the negative terminal here, I'm gonna be grounding uh, to one of these little strut nuts here, these strut bolts. And uh, yep, yeah, I got my Dremel here so I can kind of scrape away at the paint so I get a really solid ground. And it's kind of funny because 
These don't have standard SAE terminals. They actually just have a M6 thread. So the cables I'm gonna be running here are just gonna be threaded to the terminals. Well, let's get at it. So we got it all hooked up. I'm gonna go grab my multimeter. I'm gonna test voltage at the battery and I'm gonna go test voltage at the front of the car. And if everything checks out, we'll turn the key into ignition mode and see what happens. All right, 12.6. 12.6. All right, so we had voltage at the rear of the car and at the front terminal going into the fuse box. I almost wish that there wasn't because I am so nervous to turn this key into accessory mode, but we're gonna do it, see what happens. This thing hasn't been on in about a year now, so. Oh shit. All right, let's just take a moment and appreciate the sound of our people. And that's a sound I haven't heard in a long time. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Shit, man, here goes nothing. All right, everything's lit. Bro, I can hear my freaking. Is that my. Wow. If you hear that noise, that hum's coming from my turbo oil return pump. I think hum's pretty loud. It's louder than the fuel pump. That's sweet. So the oil pressure gauge is lighting up. This is the air fuel ratio gauge. I haven't hooked up my uh, wide band sensor yet. I just have the power going to it. So that's why it says sensor on there. Let's see if the lights still work. There we go. And it looks like the air's still working. Blow a nice cold air, not because I have AC, but because it's a little cold outside. God, you don't know how bad I would just want to crank it over right now, but I can't. I might be able to bump it, but I really shouldn't. Let's see if the headlights turned on. All right, those are on, those are on. Holy shit, it's alive. That's crazy. I am freaking out right now. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, well, that's all the wiring for today. Obviously, I got to clean stuff up. Oh, all right, let's get to this outro. So thank you again for tuning in to Crafting Cars. That harness is pretty easy to install. Just had to move a couple things around. Um, but as you can see, everything just kind of clicks into place. It's super exciting to see the Civic finally having power, all the gauges lighting up, headlights turning on and everything. I'm super stoked about it. It's gonna be less than a week now, I'm gonna be turning that key. Just gotta run the fluids, gotta do a quick valve lash adjustment on it so it's not ticking so bad. Uh, finish up with the intercooler piping and the hoses, but I'm gonna get right to that when I'm done making this video. So I'll see you next time. Bye! -bye.